Now to this, an eight-year-old girl stabbed to death and her 12-year-old brother is convicted of killing her. It was a shocking murder that drew national attention back in 2013. Isaiah Fowler has been locked up in a juvenile facility for five years after being convicted of the crime, but now a judge is reversing the ruling. CBS 13 Steve Large is live with why this entire case could be headed back to the courtroom. Steve? Well, it got attention across the nation and it played out in the tiny Calaveras community of Valley Springs. Now, after five years locked up, Isaiah Fowler's family says this judge's reversal supports what they've said all along. Layla's true killer has never been caught. Pictures show a beaming eight-year-old Layla Fowler before her life was cut short in a violent attack. Stabbed to death inside her own Valley Springs home. Video shows then 12-year-old Isaiah Fowler at a community vigil for his murdered little sister. In 2013, Isaiah Fowler had been the first to call 911, reporting he found his sister's body inside their home and watched an intruder run away. He quickly turned from a witness to a suspect, although Fowler maintained his innocence all along. Prosecutors said inconsistencies in his interviews immediately after the murder proved he was the killer and a court agreed. Now that is all changing. It, it, it's huge. An appeals judge ruling that interview evidence cannot be used because Isaiah Fowler was not read his rights. Fowler's attorney, Steve Plesser. He didn't get an attorney and he didn't get his Miranda rights. Instead, he got badgered by law enforcement who can, tried to convince him that they had proof that he had killed a sister when they didn't. Isaiah Fowler's mother issued a statement reading, it's been a long five years. Isaiah is innocent. Our family hopes to get justice and figure out who did this to Layla. Fowler's attorney says there is DNA evidence found on Layla that he says is further proof Isaiah did not kill her. So the DNA that was found on her body did not belong to our client, anyone in his family, any of the law enforcement or first responders or crime scene technicians who were in the house, and no one who was in the federal database. A conviction reversed. Now this heartbreaking case could be reopened and the brother locked up could be set free. Isaiah Fowler is now 17 years old. The California Attorney General could file a petition for the California Supreme Court to review the reversal. If not, the case goes back to the Calaveras County DA to decide whether to drop charges or retry the case. Today, the DA declined to comment. Steve, thanks. From that sudden turn to the latest twist.